beautiful day in Oklahoma. 74 degrees. I don't know. Zero. Actually, no wind. Completely blue skies. So I want to go distance today, but this is the first day of muzzle season here in Oklahoma, and there's a lot of folks in the woods that we go shoot at. So getting out to 500 or even further out, it's just uh, too many hunters out. So we're going to let that go. So I came up here to Ada. Got the um, lead sled going. Uh, just going to check my zero a little bit. Shoot some stuff down range. There's a steel challenge going on that just ended next door. I'll post a little bit of video on that. But anyway, that's a truck. Yeah, I do own something besides a Prius. Uh, notice the shirt I'm wearing in honor. So uh, let's go throw some lead down range. Guess what I just did? I ran over my GoPro with that truck, the rear wheels. It just broke the base, everything else. I mean, it's still running. It, uh, man, these are tough little suckers. I crapped up the base a little bit, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, I think I really got this down a little bit. This is uh, kind of a test I did at distance with the one that works so well with the cheap paint. You can see that a little closer. Those are really defined. Uh, it's hard to see from way back. These, which was the more expensive, that I kind of didn't like how much splatter. I like those now. That's the paint that adheres to plastic, but it makes a bigger splatter, which is a good thing. But anyway, I went out and got my. Uh, I'm not a big fan of lead sleds. I'm just not. Never have been. But anyway, I was checking to make sure I have perfect zero. And uh, some on my camera lens. Well, it's working. But anyway, this is my first group. Really good. You can see from my finger. This was my second group. And then I did this. Then I ran over and ran a couple of shots right in here. Uh was playing around with what I was doing. So I ran a string over here, kind of adjusting the zero. And this is my final, my final two shots. And that is what I want. Uh, that's actually three shots in the red. These over here was just, I took it off the uh, sled and uh, just shooting off the bipod and just ran a string out on it to see what it was doing. The difference would be from the pod to the uh, to the from the rest. And uh, anyway, I got the feel of it, locked it down really good. And these were my final two shots. And that, buddy, is what I want. It's not bad. Uh, these don't really count. They're from a sled. I was messing with it a little bit. And uh, these down here. Uh, when I finally got comfortable behind the gun, that's what I ended up with. So anyway, I found out that the GoPro is a really tough son of a gun, and, and we've got ladybugs everywhere. I want to tell you about this. I don't know about your state, but you can see them flying around maybe. There's millions of them everywhere. The uh, state of Oklahoma uh, Agriculture Department wanted to do something about the massive amount of fire ants Texas sent up to us. And one of their solutions was this hybrid ladybug. So they bred them and then released billions of them in our ecosystem. And this time of year, every year, we just get eat alive with them. And they bite too. Fire ants, they're still here. They're just as plentiful, maybe more so. But now we have fire ants and a new breed of ladybug. Thank you, U.S. government. You're always here to help. See you guys.